Heritage has created a new award called the Titan of Conservatism Award, and we're presenting two tonight. As the name implies, the award goes to someone who has made outstanding lifetime contributions to furthering the conservative movement and the growth of free enterprise, individual liberty, and traditional American values. How fitting it is that the first Titan of Conservative Award goes to our good friend Morton Blackwell, a man who has worked in politics for more than 50 years. He served in the Reagan White House, and today he exposes bias on our college campuses through his group, Campus Reform. He also created what we all know and love as the Leadership Institute, where he has trained hundreds of thousands of conservative leaders, activists, and students. Morton Blackwell is a living legend of the conservative movement. He's also a longtime friend of the Heritage Foundation we are proud to honor tonight. Since founding the Leadership Institute in 1979, Morton and his team have trained more than 225,000 conservative activists, leaders, and students. Today, the Leadership Institute's graduates serve as leaders in politics, government, and the media. Future generations will continue to benefit from Morton's leadership, learning critical skills needed to further grow the conservative movement and elect leaders committed to conservative principles. Morton recognized the importance of training conservatives at a young age and chose to do something about it. Early in his career, he worked as executive director of the College Republican National Committee and then served on the Louisiana Republican State Central Committee. Morton was Barry Goldwater's youngest elected delegate to the 1964 Republican Convention in San Francisco. He was also a National Convention alternate delegate for Ronald Reagan in 1968 and 1976, and a Ronald Reagan delegate at the 1980 National Convention. He organized and oversaw the national youth effort for Ronald Reagan before serving as special assistant on President Reagan's White House staff from 1981 to 1984. Thanks to Morton's leadership, today conservatives across America are equipped with training in fundraising, grassroots organizing, campaigning, communications, and other important skills. His efforts on college campuses have helped combat the leftward lurch in higher ed. His campus network has grown to more than 1,700 groups and newspapers. He's also created campus reform to serve as a watchdog. Beyond his work at the Leadership Institute, Morton has served as Virginia's Republican National Committee man since 1988, representing the interests of conservatives from across the country at the RNC. Some of the greatest conservative minds have been influenced by Morton's work in furthering the movement, and for that, we are grateful. The Heritage Foundation congratulates Morton Blackwell on his lifetime of accomplishments and proudly recognizes him with our Titan of Conservatism Award. The Titan Award is unique to each individual who receives one. Morton's Titan of Conservatism Award is a large plaque that will be placed in the Heritage Headquarters to honor his many contributions to the expansion of the conservative movement and the critical role he played in the early years of the Heritage Foundation. Congratulations, Morton. I deeply appreciate the great honor of receiving this award from the Heritage Foundation. My role at the founding of Heritage is described by Heritage's own Dr. Lee Edwards in his book, The Power of Ideas. All of my adult life, I have worked to build a movement, not an empire. And helping to spark the idea of the Heritage Foundation is surely one of the most important things I have ever done. Years later, before I founded my Leadership Institute in 1979, I arranged for my father to donate to Heritage a large number of valuable antiques. Most of those antiques were sold for Heritage for cash money by Professor Bill Campbell of Baton Rouge, but some of them can still be seen in the Heritage Building. For 41 years, my Leadership Institute has built the conservative movement primarily by finding people who are already reasonably conservative, 
persuading them that they owe it to their philosophy to study how to win, and then teaching more than 228,000 students of our trainings how to be more effective as activists and leaders in government, politics, and the news media. The Heritage Foundation, several years older and much larger than my institute, is by far the largest conservative think tank anywhere in the world. It focuses primarily on ideas and policy, linking conservative principles to an ever-increasing audience of people in the public policy process. Routinely, ideas generated by or widely communicated by heritage have profoundly changed public policy for the better in our country and around the world. Working with heritage leaders and their staff has always been cordial and productive for me and my Leadership Institute staff. In fact, our two organizations have a long record of mutual cooperation on projects large and small. Several former LI staff now work at Heritage and vice versa. For decades, my late wife Helen and I have worked for conservative principles in Virginia with Kay Coles James. I was thrilled to see Kay elected as Heritage President. She's one of the finest people I have ever known, and it's a great pleasure for me to work more closely than ever with her now. Thank you, Morton, for everything you've done for Heritage and for the conservative movement. We are so honored that you joined us here tonight. And on a personal note, you know, there wasn't a major political or career decision in my life that I made without consulting my dear friends, Morton and Helen Blackwell. Thank you for what you've meant to me and to the entire conservative movement. They served as trusted advisors every step of the way. And frankly, I'm not alone or very special. They have done that for hundreds of people. 